Welcome to Video Quick Tips, the show that brings you tips and techniques to help you produce better video. I'm Bill Mecca. I want to follow up on an article I posted on the website a while back about how not to conduct an interview. If you remember, that was actually a video of a celebrity interview about a movie, and the reporter complimented the actor on his appearance in a film. Only trouble was, he had never appeared in the film she mentioned. It was someone else. A little background check, a little research would have helped and it would have gone a long way to avoiding that embarrassment and conducting a better interview. An old adage that attorneys use all the time is you never ask a question to which you don't know the answer. So study up on your subject, do some research so you go into that interview prepared and don't embarrass yourself. Now the other technique I want to talk about is not asking people questions that can be answered with a yes or a no. For example, if you're out at a county fair and you're getting some shots and you want to do some interviews with some of the fairgoers, you don't ask, are you having a good time at the fair? You get a one word answer. You can't really use that. And by itself, it makes no sense. You want to elicit more of a response from them. So ask an open-ended question along the lines of, how is this year's fair compared with last year? They'll answer that something like, it's a lot better, or I wasn't here last year. Now, you want to expand their, their interaction more, use this technique. Take the last couple words of what they said and repeat it back to them. You see, people will edit themselves because the mind works so quickly that it seems like a lot of time is passing and they feel that they're talking forever and they'll cut themselves off. You need to give them license to continue. So using that same example, you say, how does this year's fair compare with last year? And they say, oh, it's better. It's better? Yeah, there's a lot more vendors here. There's a lot of food. Oh, a lot of food? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of food. There's pizza and there's pretzels. There's Zeppelis. There's uh, funnel cake. And I love funnel cake. You love funnel cake? Oh, yeah, you can't go to a fair without funnel cake. Now you take all those answers and you can put them together. You can cut out the questions and then make a statement. Or even one of those on their own may stand up as a good sound bite. So you have a couple things you need to do. Prepare for the interviews, ask open-ended questions, and then use that technique of repeating their last couple words to them to get them to expand upon what they said a little bit more. Hope that helps. That's it for this episode. I'm Bill Mecca. Happy shooting.